This is a video I've debated making for the last week or so. For the first time in the 15 years I've been on YouTube, it's a video that I've actually been afraid to make because it's a dangerous topic. It's touchy. It's anime. And anime fans can get wild. They always say war is hell, but I think war is child's play compared to an argument with a weeb. I also recently learned about antimatter and it's the only thing in the universe that releases 100% of its energy in like this devastating explosion. And that's also wrong, because weebs do that too when they find out that you don't like their favorite waifu. The point I'm making is, things can get very ugly when you criticize or talk about anime negatively. Expect an unholy, diabolical meltdown on Twitter attacking you for weeks for it. I still, to this day, have not heard the end of how wrong I am for not liking JoJo's part 3 and 4 as much as I liked parts 1 and 2. And I mentioned that a single time in a video over a year ago. So let that shit sink in. For what it's worth, I just finished part 5, that shit slapped. Part 5 was great. So, let's get to what I want to talk about today. The main thing that I just dislike about anime, I'm sure all of you know by now, but I watch a lot of anime. You could probably guess that just by taking a single glance at me. If I walked by you in public, you would probably assume that I watched anime just by the way I look. I stared too long into the abyss of anime, and it stared back into me. I even bought a body pillow at one point, so, you know, God bless. The, but the thing is, no matter how much anime I watch, there is one thing that always makes me uncomfortable with how common it is in the medium. And you probably already know what I'm going to bring up. It's anime's fixation on making all of the characters kids or very kid-like for no reason. Now, I'm not specifically talking about lollies. I'm sure you know what lollies are. If you don't, a you know, all power to you. Your innocence is intact. But I'll go ahead and ruin Christmas for you. Lollies are an anime where they have a character that looks like a child, but is actually a 4,000-year-old dragon cum vampire who's highly sexualized but looks like a child. They're called lollies. They're not actually children because in the show they're supposed to be much older, but they look like kids, and it's pretty weird. That shit's always going to be weird to me, but it's not even exactly what I'm focusing on here. I'm talking about in the shows where they just actually outright make them children. For example, Tokyo Revengers. It's a show I really like. It's a show I moist metered recently. The first season wrapped up. I gave it like a 90%. I thought the show was fantastic. But in the show, all of the characters are middle schoolers. And it does nothing for the plot because the, they're middle schoolers, but you never see their parents. Their schools don't have any effect on the plot at all. Sometimes they'll be in school, but they immediately leave, so it's not, like, an integral to the plot at all. Most of the time, they just don't go, and that's not even a plot point, like, oh, I'm skipping school, I'm fucking dope and breaking rules, I'm a bad boy. It is literally them just middle schoolers, but they're basically just adults anyway. They have motorcycles that they ride around, uh, they get in gang fights and shit like that. So the question becomes, why make them middle schoolers? Why keep driving home this idea that these characters are 14 and 15? It just makes it really weird when they do adult shit, like one of the girls trying to fuck one of the guys and she's in like her bra and panties about to have sex. It's weird because they've drilled into you that these are all middle schoolers around here, but they didn't need to be. These could have very easily just been adults. If you took a tally of every single protagonist across every anime ever made, I'd wager about 85% of all main characters in anime are 15 years old. That is the most common age of every character of every major anime, it feels like. But it never plays a role in anything. Them being kids. You know, it's not like that's ever an actual point in these shows. Like, oh, fuck, I can't go to this gang fight because I have to go do my algebra homework. Otherwise, my parents are going to spank me and dad's going to bring out the belt and take away my PlayStation. The characters being children is always just so useless because they could have easily just been adults and it wouldn't have taken away from anything. It's just weird. I, I don't really get it. And what really prompted me to make this video or make me want to make this video over the last week or so is I'm watching a, a currently airing anime called Platinum End and it's dog shit. It, it is a, an actual pair of of bull nuts. It's terrible. But I'm watching it because it's made by the creator of Death Note, so I at least gave it a chance. And I'm gonna finish it just because I've already watched so much of it, but it's not good. But one thing that really was like drove home this idea of what is the point of making the characters kids is there's a spoilers coming up, I guess, but I, I don't think you should watch it, so I, I wouldn't really worry about spoilers. I'm doing you a favor if anything. One of the main bad guys is a kid, he's a middle schooler, 
and he has the ability to control the minds basically of anyone he shoots with an arrow and he uses the arrow on a middle school girl and she gets shot with this love arrow and what she does is she just starts fucking other middle school girls and they show her like almost fully nude making out with middle school girls about to fuck them finger blast them you know go wild it shows you that in the show and it's super weird because they keep driving home this idea constantly that that is a middle schooler she is 13 or 14 whatever years old they even in the show they call her the middle school serial killer because She's a middle schooler, and after she fucks the girls, she kills them. It's just super creepy, because they are establishing that this is a child that we almost watch have sex with another child in the show. Now, of course, it's all cartoons. It's, oh, sorry, I can't, can't use the, the C word here when talking about anime. People get very upset. It, it is a 2D animation. I understand they're not real kids or anything, but that doesn't make it any less creepy. It could have just easily been avoided if these were adults. Because they could have been. Again, in Platinum End, the school doesn't have any effect at all. The only thing the school has done is establish that the main character has been bullied. But he could have also just been an adult who had been bullied throughout his entire life in school. I don't think there's been a single scene in this entire show that has been at the school other than at the very front where he was hiding in the background. So them being in school is useless because it is never a part of the actual show. Them being 14 and 15. They could just be adults, and it wouldn't be weird. You could have adult characters instead of kids doing these adult things, these sexual things, you know? Now, I'm not saying every single anime has to be, like, 40-year-old grizzled war veterans for characters or anything, but there's a lot of shows where them being kids is just a completely useless plot point, and it because it doesn't actually play a role in the plot. Them being kids doesn't matter, like the two examples I just gave you. But then there are shows where it does matter that they're kids. Something like Assassination Classroom, right? There are kids in class. They're at school. The majority of that show takes place in a school setting. So obviously there's still a lot of shows where them being kids is actually important to the story and couldn't work with them being older. So I'm not saying everything in anime needs to be adults only. That's just called hentai, I suppose. I'm just saying there's a lot of shows where the characters are kids just because they wanted to make them children for no reason, but then they still want them to like fucking things, which makes it really uncomfortable to watch because they could have just made them adults. I've said that like 20 times by now, but there are really just so many shows where I'll sit there and watch it and I'm like, damn, this is a good show. And then it's like, but why are they kids? What was the point? What did that add to this? I, I, I just don't really get it. And that's just my main thing I don't like about anime. It's not like I'm over here, you know, slapping a Bible and saying we gotta ban anime because the, you know, think of the kids or whatever, but it is weird. Like, it is just kind of embarrassing. But yeah, I just wanted to toss this out there, you know, it's not like I'm canceling my Crunchyroll subscription and I'm burning my manga and destroying my anime Blu-rays or anything like that. I'm still gonna keep watching anime. The fucking Jujutsu Kaisen movie is one of my most anticipated movies that I can even think of. I'm super hyped for that. I just wanted to at least put this out there, it's just because I've been thinking about it since I've been watching that garbage Platinum End. And I mentioned it on stream once, so I figured might as well make a video talking about it. That's about it. See ya.